I'm Sean Carruthers and welcome to the fifth in a five-part series on the iPhone 3GS. Today we're going to talk about accessibility features. Now you may know accessibility features from Windows or the Mac on a, on a full-size computer. They have been introduced into the iPhone 3GS now. Now what accessibility features do is they allow people to interact with the phone in different ways depending on their needs. So in case uh, you have a visual disability or in case you can only hear in one ear or can't hear at all, then the phone will actually deal with that in various ways. Now, the way you get to it is by going into settings, scrolling to general, and then scrolling down to accessibility. It's a slightly awkward placement uh, if you're turning it on for the first time, but um, now we have a few different options. Now, again, depending on your needs, you can set these things up in various combinations. So uh, let's talk about uh, things in the middle first because they're fairly quick. The white on black, so uh, if you find the screen too bright and need it uh, inverted, as many people do, you can just flip that switch and now it's a whiter text on a darker background. So it might be easier to, to make out the text in this case. So you can just flip that on and off. A mono audio, in case you uh, cannot hear in one ear, you can flip that on and now anything that comes through the phone, uh, through the, uh, the speakers or through the uh, earphones will be the same in both ears. So if anyone has listened to the Beatles' Yellow Submarine, you'll know what I'm talking about. It splits pretty hard and that'll actually put everything into the same channel. And to speak auto text, you know, by flipping that one on, you can actually uh, have the phone read out any corrections that it makes. So if you're in mail or you're in the notepad and it is automatically making corrections, it will actually tell you when it's doing so. A couple other features here that are a little bit more, you know, a little bit more involved. We'll talk about zoom. So by clicking through to zoom, it magnifies the entire screen. So you know that you can uh, do the pinch and the zoom in things like photographs or in the web browser. But this will allow you to do it across the board here. So in case you have a bit of trouble seeing things, you can actually magnify. So by turning that on, you have the ability now to zoom in on anything. So to zoom, you double tap with three fingers and it'll zoom right in. To scroll around, you do this with three fingers. And to change it, now this one is a bit tricky, you double tap with three fingers and then hold and move it around up and down and it'll actually change the, the size. So tap, tap, and then you can actually zoom anywhere between 100 and 500% on this. So if you really need to get in close, by default it's 200%, but you can zoom way in or back down to uh, the regular 100%. So that's the zoom feature, and you can do that anywhere on, on the, on the uh, iPhone. So again, it's not just on that zoom screen. You can actually go in here, double tap, and zoom in, scroll around, or zoom out. Oops, then we don't need to see that. So triple tap to get back out. Go back into settings, and we'll disable that again. Now getting used to some of these for the first time uh, can take a little bit of work, but once you have this down, you're good to go. Now the voiceover feature is for people that uh, maybe can't see uh, the screen at all. So what it'll do is it'll read what's going on on the screen by enabling this. So we're going to click this. Now this one actually does take even more getting used to um, because it changes the way the iPhone itself works. So this could be a little bit of fun here. So to enable it, what it, it will start reading in a voice and it'll tell you what you want to do. So it will in fact change your gesturing based system that you're used to. So you'll notice that when we did that accessibility up at the top got highlighted. When you want to do something else you move your finger around onto the screen and it'll change the options here. Like that. So you'll notice you can't actually just flip it off like you would under normal circumstances. Now what you have to do is you need to find it and hold it and you need to double tap on things. So instead of flipping the switch you actually double tap on the switch itself. So now what that will do is it will uh, do that anywhere else on the, uh, on the iPhone again as well. So you go back to your main screen. And so again, you double tap things now to open. Calculator. Double tap to open. Compass. Facebook. 
Shazam. Double tap to open. And again, you just Calculator. double tap now. Double tap to open. Double tap to open, and there you go. Calculator. Result. 37.1. Text field. So again, it takes a little bit of getting used to. It uh, is a different way to interact with the uh, interact with your iPhone. So if you have turned this on by mistake, it'll start interacting in a much different uh, way than you expect. And again, you select what you need first before you can double tap it. Double tap it to open things as opposed to single tapping. Select. And I'm showing you how to turn it off just in case you've gotten into that mode. And you scroll. Select, double tap, select, select the button itself, double tap, and now it's back to uh, the regular way it operates. So there you go. That is the voiceover function, and that is the accessibility features on the iPhone 3GS.